Hello, nerds, and welcome back to our new Caesar game. If you missed the first episode, I'm gonna leave the link right here so you can get caught up. If not, we are just in time for the Legion push. So sit back, relax, and enjoy what's to be some global domination. You can see it's turn 67. We have five cities. Not only that, we have a full army, and a, wow, we have so much tempo based off of Caesar Snowball, which is only gonna get even crazier. There we go. Here's our formations. This is an unstoppable force here. One more wars in two turns. I don't wanna wait. <laughs> I should have announced her a little bit earlier, but we're just gonna go. This is gonna be a full war and she's not ready for this at all. I need to get some military training so I can actually get uh, the raid policy in too. Ancient walls will not matter here. Uh, this galley is definitely a concern, but we'll be okay. Let's go ahead, attack wheel. We can raid, immediately finish the wheel. <laughs> oh boy. And it's time to get the battering ram within the city walls. Get a warrior in this city. Help out a little bit. Come here. Yeah, we need to clear out that camp. And at this point, we have 49 strength legions. 40 combat strength, 5 from general, 4 from oligarchy. Her city only has 23, 23 strength base. And we can almost kill the walls immediately. She has a catapult in here. That is fine. Okay, step. Step, step. It's 3 movement to pillage. Let's go ahead and just kill the walls really, really fast. Step onto these tiles. Attack. Get the archer to shoot the walls. Attack again. And the city's almost gone already. We'll give this guy Garrison. Garrison actually does give you 10 combat strength based on any district you're in, not just the city center. So I have an extra 10 combat strength standing on that tile there. And it's time to get Warlords thrown because we're about to start taking cities. Now, Georgia does have a good military strength but our units are much stronger. I'm a little bit worried about the heavy chariots. But let's get a couple of quick pillages out, keep our units full health, and after two turns, take the city. We can keep it. I need to get another governor title, and it's time for the raid card as well. So I'll plug in raid over charismatic leader for just a little bit, and I need the loyalty card also. But you can see here, we just took a city. That's another 300 gold. And the snowball begins. I mean, it begun a while ago. <laughs> but the snowball proper is now. You can see here, 51 strength versus 33. Also, this spearman is very weak. Uh, these archers will just have to pepper up this horse. They'll probably take a hit. It'll be okay. And at this point, the city's loyalty is only at negative four. Once we get this governor title, we'll be able to get Victor. Now I'm gonna send this archer out, as well as this warrior. Uh, the boat will be here, but we have a boat to defend. Uh, we found Cahokia. Cahokia is a war with us, as well as Bologna, because of Georgia. But we're just gonna go ahead and uh, just rip right through here, I think. But we do have to be smart on how we advance through here. Tamar is a really strong Sif. Uh, she should have her unique unit coming out soon, her Kevser. Uh, it's just the Man at Arms replacement, and I need to try to prioritize one city at a time. If I try to split my legions to both cities, I'm gonna lose, because she has catapults. These two spots right here that can be hit by both cities. Archer shots from the cities and catapult shots as well. It could be could be danger up ahead. So what we need to do is we need to be careful. That being said, let's come another general and let's just go, dude. Uh, I do need to get my, oh, another legion. Yes, please. I'm gonna send this general with this legion that'll help increase the speed of this specific eunuch in the back to get forward. And then I need to make sure I prioritize getting promotions, but also getting kills. Uh, the chariot, the chariots are dying. That's fantastic. Any unit need, that can get an attack needs to get an attack. So we'll get an attack here. 
Get another air score from that kill next to a general. Get a kill here. And this guy has a promotion. I'll step forward and promote. Give you battle cry. And focusing on getting kills specifically should be our priority. Is that a settler? Oh, Tamar, don't tempt me. And then we keep getting our shots. Um, between the capital and Pody here, I need to decide which city to go for. I'm gonna go for this city because I need a boat to siege the capital. So this city should be a lot easier to take. And like I said, take one city at a time. Don't split your military into multiple different fronts. It just reduces the effectiveness of your army. You might lose some units. And then at that point, you are losing your momentum. Ah, see, this is what I mean. Look at all this military that just came out of the fog of war. So let's get a shot here. Step forward with our legions. We do have promotions. Uh, you can get shot here, but you also have a bunch of melee units to deal with. Uh, this guy I kind of want to heal. Uh, the battering ram, though, needs to come forward. Even though there's a lot of units here, I could keep attacking, but prioritizing getting your promotions are incredibly important. You can do that fortified in your own territory as well. And you can just slowly push through. There is no rush. There's absolutely no rush to push too fast because then you'll just overextend your units. Instead, we are fortifying a front line. We're having them come to us, utilizing a support bonus because all of our units are staying together on a defensive line getting our promotions, keeping our units at full health, and we should be okay. This guy's taking, you see how many attacks he took? He took a ton of attacks and he only took 22 damage. That's phenomenal. We have promotions on the back line here. I need to step forward with this guy. I need promotions here. Archers are gonna be targeting units specifically. The battering ram needs to get over to this city. We step forward with our legions, and we are just shifting to the right. This guy can just heal in place. I don't want to step here because I can get double shot by both cities. It's just, this is a kill zone. You want to keep an eye on these spots. Get a kill there. And instead of taking this warrior out, I'm going to step forward to prioritize the city as I was talking about. And then my backup can come up here and defend the city a little bit. We're losing loyalty here. I need a governor. Defensive tactics is in two turns, so we'll be able to hold that city just fine. I do need to get up to crossbows though, because my archers are starting to get a little a little weak. I can go for pyramids. Uh, we can also try to boost serfdom by getting a couple of builders. I also need to get to Marduki so soon. Uh, boosting, hmm. building the pyramids would boost uh, drama and poetry. I'm just, I'm, it's fine. I'm gonna go for a couple of builders here to get housing from farms as well as boosting feudalism. Oh, I lost that archer. That's a bummer. It's okay, I still have two archers left. We have our governor title. Let's grab Victor now. Or do we want Mok Chalet on hands, I wonder? Let's do Victor. I don't want to lose cities. And now that that city is holding, I'm going to go ahead and run Conscription to keep our gold return high. We also need Diplomatic League. So I'll take out... Hey, oh, hang on. Before I do that, let's clear this Barbarian camp. I do need the raid card. I need Diplo League so I can send envoys. Um, I'm gonna wait on that, though. We'll take Limite out, plug in conscription, keep discipline until I clear the Barbarian camp. And we should be fine here. We'll attack the Catapult twice. Step forward with our legions. Get the battering ram into position, step forward with the archers, and now we can hit the walls and actually just completely shred them. I will kill this warrior. And yeah, deleting the walls. Now there's one less shot to kill my units with. They are getting missionaries. What's their religion? Choral music? Oh, I would happily adopt your religion. I need to keep an eye out for these pillages, these uh, farms here. Those would be incredibly useful for us, as well as the gold. Oh, there's Kumasi? And no one sues me. Oh, yes, this is a perfect time. Let's attack this barb camp one more time. We'll take out discipline, plug in diplomatic league, 
And then we have three, uh, two envoys. So this one counts as two and grab Kumasi. Kumasi is now on our side and they can actually help uh, beat up Georgia a little bit. We actually met the Gaul. The Gaul are gonna be another really tough Civ to fight. Oh no. Oh well. Hopefully this shows you how strong this combination is. The city is under siege. There's no catapult in this city. That's really good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, Gaul. Not really. I'm so upset that you're in the game. We have a promotion. You also have three movement, which means you could step onto the hill and still attack. But what I'm going to do, this guy's hurt. So I do want to step him back for a fresh legion. This legion can still attack. Again, because we have plus one movement from the general, meaning we can move on to the hill and still attack on the same turn. Let's do the same thing here. Swap these guys around. This guy gets a promotion. Battle cry. Step forward. And since it's the city's under siege, I can do a quick hit here. Another promotion. I do want to hurt this catapult specifically so that they can do less damage to me. Promotion time, we're going to get Garrison Commander just making loyalty a non-issue in this area. And we're going to go for feudalism next. We're going for markets. I need to get my trade routes online. Which, speaking of, now they're expensive. We have a trade route here and then a library. And I'm bringing this boat here so we can help siege the city, the capital. And he stepped the general forward to make sure that this guy gets the combat boost. And he can do a quick attack here. My lands are weak. Dude, do you see this? <laughs> Oh no, the Kevsers, they're here. So Kevsers are a man-at-arms replacement. They are a little bit stronger than man-at-arms, which remember, we are using legions, which are swordsman replacements, and they have additional seven combat strength when fighting on hills. So if I ever find them not on hills, we should try to make use of hurting them before they do anything else. Um, or we could just fortify. We can kill a catapult. We can take the high ground. We can pillage here because we're fortified. You're going to heal. And I want to get these two farm pillages, which means we actually can step and pillage because you have commando, so you have additional movement. And you have a promotion. So I'm going to step and promote you. We'll step here. Keep the siege going. This archer needs to fall back. This archer can shoot. And we'll take the city here real soon. You gotta be careful on these early wars. I could heal for a turn, or I could take the camp right now. Let's take the camp. 300 gold. That's amazing. It means I can buy granaries to keep my cities growing, or I can buy more legions. And I think I need to go all in on the legion push. So let's do that. Oh no, the Cavs, sir. Oh, we got a relic. Hello? Because we found a wonder. Oh, because <laughs> Kumasi found a wonder. There we go. That makes me feel better. Galleon the water's here. That's unfortunate. And we're going to slowly pepper down this, this guy. All right, we can fortify and pillage. Let's step up here. We could almost take the city. We can take the city, but I want to get a couple of these pillages out next turn for the heals. Yeah, I can take the city right now, but I want to pillage this tile. So we're going to delay one turn. These guys are going to just fortify right here. And honestly, I'm going to buy a second galley. Uh, we also have a ton of strategic resources, which I do not want to sell to the Gaul. I will sell them Diplo Favor, though, so we can buy another galley. Two shipbuilding. And make sure we can actually fight down here to Tbilisi. Keep the battering man moving. I need to get down here soon. And she's trying to get peace. That's not going to happen. We have engineering boosted because we finished walls in the capital. Go for our markets. Get our farms going. Keep attacking. Keep getting experience. This guy's in a precarious spot because he can get shot by three different catapults. But if I pillage... I should have stepped to your last turn. That's fine. Let's get a shot off. Let's get another pillage. And we're going to attack the city. Take it. It's mine. And now we can step forward make sure we keep the generals forward and then also attack catapults i will i can step and pillage with this guy let's yeah, step and pillage we could kill this kevser now i'm gonna take the moment to do that 
Whew, eight experience. Loyalty here is negative five. I might try to grab a Moksha as well. We can use Lay on Hands later. And we get another 300 gold from taking that city. Which means we can get another Legion! Actually, what we could do is we could buy a Horseman. That's Eris Core. Uh, the era is going to end in 10. And this also can be used for clearing out units and getting good pillaging done. And you can see, because we focus on one city and, of course, the units themselves, we were able to whittle down Georgia's uh, strength here to a manageable degree. Also, Kumasi's helping us now. Let's get an attack. And it's time to surround the city with as many units as I can, specifically the full health units, and get the boats down here. And get some heals. Spending one turn to heal your units is completely fine. It's actually really important. And we can actually get Urban Warfare on a unit. That's amazing. Level three already. Uh, now that I'm here, I'm actually, even though I'm attacking across a river here, I'm gonna take it because I need to start slamming those walls down. And now we get culture from trading with our city-state friends. Oh, that's amazing. Also, look, we get free roads to cities we've conquered. <laughs> Dude, so good. Wait, is Gaul at war with her too? <laughs> he is. That's amazing. This guy has one charger left. I want to wait till after we start the pyramids, which I could start that right now. Right after that builder, so we can chop out the pyramids. Oh, that horse is getting killed so fast. Normal people. All right, we have engineering, which means we actually have our bats unlocked. And I can go for crossbows. That means I need to lock down any city that's going to build a bath, I need to lock these down immediately. If we wait, these will get more expensive. We don't need to build them immediately, but we do need to take our builders. And we need to start chopping. Uh, but right after we get surfed him, I think. Which will be soon. All right, I need to get these boats here so I can siege the city proper. So we will step our legions. Get some pillaging. The horse needs to come back and get healed. And let's make sure we keep hitting these walls. This city is really strong. There's a Kefsir on a hill in this city, so we're going to take a lot of damage. Um, I should actually start looking into catapults, because we have those unlocked now. And unfortunately, I don't have the gold. I should have saved gold for that. But we do have this legion, who's nice and strong. Oof, dude. Any step here to help defend this unit? I'll get a couple of pillages here, too. Next time, we'll start actually hitting the wall properly. Oh, there's a boat in the way. This is why I have two boats. Try to clear this, and we'll get the city sieged here soon. That city's about to fall. A feudalism is about to be boosted, so I'm going to switch down to mysticism. Let's get a pillage for gold. We're getting closer to getting catapults. Uh, this guy has urban warfare, so I need to attack the city. And I'm going to get another pillage here for more gold. There we go. I can finally get a catapult out. We're getting tons of faith from pillaging stuff. All right, we can actually trade with Kumasi through here because we actually we do have trading posts. Yeah, right. Trading posts extend the range of your trade routes. So uh, Ostia could have always traded with Candy. This city has plus 12 loyalty. I might want to move Victor to Potty. I'm going to attack this Kevser, then move in with another Legion. Can't quite take it yet, though. Move this Legion in. The more you have units together, the more they'll get support bonuses from each other. So they'll take less damage from the city shots. All right, nice. I need to hold the loyalty down. Take Diplo League out. Run. And also production on the pyramids. I need to hold the city. I don't want to deal with a rebellion. That's a negative 14 now. Oh crap. I need. I need to take the city. Let's move in. The city's now under siege. I can actually hit the city walls enough to get rid of them. That's fantastic. And then we'll get a promotion here. Go for amphibious. I want to get to urban warfare as soon as possible. To negative seven, I need to move Victor forward. That'll hold both these cities. And now I need to chop out these pyramids. Pyramids? All right. And go for drama and poetry. Oh no! 
Lost my level 3 Legion. I am so pissed off about that. That, oh, I can't believe you did that. That's not okay. And the city's no longer under siege, too. That's a bummer. Which means I need to do maximum damage right now. The city's still falling? Oh, no. I need to move Magnus down for a little bit. Just to hold both the cities. And I need to get these gold pillages. I need to get the crossbows. Kefsers are so strong, dude. Fortify pillage for gold. Fortify pillage for faith. Pillage for more gold. I need to get the siege back. This legion doesn't have any promotions, so that's okay. And we got a first merchant. We do have the gold to get another catapult. And those will transition into trebuchets eventually. This guy's also almost pr promoted too. There's trade routes to pillage as well. Get a free luxury from this merchant. I'd love to grab the pearls that are in the water, but I can't. I don't have shipbuilding yet, so... Let me grab a copy of incense I don't think I have yet. I do need to finish one of these baths for Aeroscore. I lost population in the capital? How? Get another pillage here. This guy, holy cow, took a lot of damage. I need to step back, bait them in. The city is so strong! What the heck? I don't really have a choice. I just have to slowly whittle the city down. Get crossbows soon. And just fortify. Uh, I do need to chop the bath out in the capital, I think, to get the air score. All right, these Kepsaurus did step forward. Um, they are off the hills, though, which is good. And we have two catapult shots here, so we can do a good amount of damage to the city, finally. Uh, and we got air score, because we built a bath. Oh, Ravenna was building it. Nice. So let's get the traders online. And keep both these builders around. I need... Oh, I need another builder. <laughs> All right, I swapped those units around to make sure that the guy survived. We got two more catapult shots. And the city could finally... Oh, be taken. Holy cow, we finally got our capital. That was a fight, dude. And now there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. And her capsers are off the hills. I need to take the moment to attack. There we go. Uh, her slinger ran away for some reason. And we have one more city to take. I need most of my units to heal. Chop out the bath here. We got another influx of gold. Get one more builder here. Pyramids are about to finish. My new cities can also place down some baths. There's actually a pretty good industrial zone right here with the two quarries. Yeah, these uh, will require baths. Theater squares are discounted. Interesting. So let's make this a theater square here. Governor title, I'm gonna grab a Moksha and send him out to the front line as well. Help hold with loyalty for now. And there's more cities down here. Once I take uh, Gori, I should not have any more loyalty problems in this area at all. And there it is. The start of the medieval era. And when we need to start moving to Metadarbs, because the whole Gaul is going to be tough to push through. Gaul has 67 science per turn. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right. So at this point, we have a couple things to choose. We do have a bunch of faith. And we have a bunch of cities we could actually go settle if I use that faith. Alternatively, I could go for getting free inquiry and getting science off of these commercial hubs. Four, four, three, that's not bad. Also harbors will be placed in these cities eventually. And uh, considering we're gonna be doing a military push here, the tech lead is gonna be pretty necessary. I can settle cities over here for fun, for extra luxuries and resources. I don't really need to settle over here. I think we're going for a domination game. I think Caesar's just a domination sieve in general. Um, but we're going to go ahead. I need science. So we're going to go free inquiry to bump up us up to 40 science per turn. Still not a lot. <laughs> but it's what we need right now. All right, we have a theta square in this city that is discounted. So this is only 92 production. Pyramids will be done this turn. Then we'll get the farms to finish feudalism. Let me get my catapults up, complete construction, go for trebuchets next. 
We can actually fix tiles with our legions as well, if they still have their charge left. We go ahead and hit this city. There's no unit here, so I need to try to take these walls out now before another freaking Kevzer gets spawned in. Oh, there's the warriors. Levied from someone. Okia? She's getting desperate. Because we need more science per turn, I'm going to vote up campuses. I also don't want the AI voting city center because that means they'll build the walls super fast. And I don't like walls, as we can tell. Tamar, how dare you? I'll vote uh, cultural city states because I'm trading with Kamasi. Uh, or base city state. I'm trading with uh, Candy. It's of these There's pyramids. the pyramids. Beautiful. Century. Fantastic grab here. Scientific city states and campuses. Oh, okay. I'm good with all of that. So now I can get feudalism boosted. Take out Corvée. Take out Lamentani. Run serfdom and urban planning. And we'll keep the rest of these cards for now. I need to get up to Monarchy. And all of these builders have an extra charge now. Also, my farms are better. Capital can work on their traders. You can work on your bath. I need to get my catapults into position. Get Commando here. Step forward. Bring the battering ram. Step forward with the horsemen. There's military engineering. Oh boy, we can upgrade to trebuchets. That's fantastic. So we can actually just kill the walls straight up right now. Kill the walls. We'll take this final city. Theta squares are, are discounted. I want these ones. Um, I need harbors. Let's get builders. Let's get apprenticeship for industrialization. If we move forward with man at arms against the Gaul. They're fighting over across the river. That's fine. Oh no! My Diplo favor. Oh, it failed. <gasps> Why to? Why did Tamar vote down her own military emergency? Gaul was so ready for it. I'm so confused. Huh? Tamar just said, "Get me out of this game." <laughs> Take it. Take it. Ah, oh, we're done. We did it. We take it all of Georgia cities. Well, basically all. And we have established loyalty hold here. So one of the things I like about Caesar is that every time you conquer a city, you get gold, which means you could go ahead and steal Georgia's last city for that extra 300 gold. But I think it's time we just get the gold straight up from her anyway. <laughs> and her last luxury. That's That's fantastic right there. That also brings peace with the city-states here, so I can actually start competing for them, and we need to set our eyes on the Gaul. Now, the Gaul have a pretty big military. I'm not gonna lie. We can, however, upgrade our units to man-at-arms. Uh, you'll notice legions are more expensive. You'll see a swordsman is only 360 gold. A legion is actually more expensive. It's 440 gold. Well, what that means is that to upgrade to a man-at-arms, which is 640 gold, it's actually pretty cheap to upgrade from legions to man-at-arms. If you don't know, the upgrade cost is the difference in the base cost between units. And if we get to mercenaries, which we already have boosted all the way up to, in three turns, we can upgrade each of these legions for only 100 gold. We can also upgrade our catapults, our archers, and eventually we can upgrade our coursers as well. But before I do that, I have a couple of legions that still have their build charges. So what they can do is they can step and fix tiles for us immediately, uh, or they can be used to chop out more military. We're gonna take out raid, and we're gonna run the maneuver card so I can actually chop out a couple of horse units here and we'll keep the rest of this as is. Production is too important to me. I know natural philosophy would be a nice card, but urban planning is still very good, especially for cleaning up all of the mess that we have at all of these cities. You can see we are benefiting from the 20% production modifier from Warlord's Throne. This game is going very... Ah, uh, Kube? <laughs> Wait. Wait. France? When did... When did this... <laughs> when did this happen? Coupe, what? Where are you? What happened? It's time to bring Magnus back home. Back to Rome. I don't need to move Pingala here. This is going just fine. And it's time to just do as much as we can to improve his land as much as possible. I want to try to get Rome up to 10 populations so I can build this entertainment complex. Uh, that means getting a farm triangles down, increasing the amount of food here. So we're going to send these builders over here. 
Now these cities will quickly fix up all of their resources. And it's not really worth retiring any of these generals yet. I'm just gonna bring my boats back to Ostia to keep it protected from barbs. I will go ahead and buy a good niter tile. I'm gonna need access to niter here relatively soon. And we've been denounced. Um, okay, buddy. How is that going to go for you? We have unlocked industrial zones, so if I can place these, I would love to. We also could go for terracotta army. Oh, that would be so good for promoting my units. And I would love to get stirrups for knights, potentially. While I'm waiting for the capital grow, we will go ahead and build that terracotta army. That sounds phenomenal. We can keep trading with city-states to get that culture return going. We get four trade-offs to boost medieval fares, get as much gold per turn as possible. I'm saving the gold for those upgrades. And I would love to eventually get the Alhambra for another military card as well. We can go ahead and boost gunpowder and get up to musketmen sooner. As well as I do want to prioritize getting to metal casting because that's when we increase the gold per turn of our city conquering. Uh, there are more, more barbarians over here. That's actually... Not that bad. <laughs> that means I can actually get more gold from these guys. I'm gonna bring the spearmen back home. Have them close by in case this kind of stuff keeps happening. And they do have pikemen, so I would love a crossbow here. That should slowly be able to win windle down that city. And since all these tiles are mostly fixed, I'm gonna send my military forward to start getting upgraded. Looks like they're at war with Kumasi. No, Georgia still. <laughs> That's hilarious. You can go ahead and grab this merchant. We have the upgrade card. So let's plug in professional army. I'll take out serfdom and keep maneuver in. Because I would love to take these last charges on my legions and chop out a couple horse units. Anyone that doesn't have a charge can actually get upgraded, as well as these trebuchets. And I'm going to use this chop here. Boom, get another horse. Now these horses won't be strong until we upgrade them but we will have them. Upgrade to crossbows. And there we go, we upgraded so many units just now. Upgrade this legion, get another horse. Actually no, heavy chariots because I'll have knights unlocked. Chop out a knight pre-build here. Uh, this might be a raid, which could be a problem. By this tile, we'll get one more horseman. And then it's time. The farm triangle here, because all of these farms are adjacent to each other, they get additional food. And I can get the capital to grow pretty quickly here. Magnus is now established. So I might as well chop to get the population to continue to rise. Actually, we'll just chop. I want this done as soon as possible to get my units healed. Tamar has Susan of both these cities. Eight, that's fine. Uh, our Pangala city can actually place their industrial zone now for plus seven production here. This city really needs its harbor, but I don't have those unlocked yet. I actually really wanted the castles. <laughs> Is that another offline follow? <laughs> Welcome in. Let's keep chopping for population in the capital. And because I can boost by getting to 10 pop here. Hmm. No, just go for monarchy. You'll notice because we conquered a bunch of cities here, we actually do have a lot of districts. So I can actually go ahead and unlock the holy site here. It'll allow me to fix these holy sites get our religion spread back up to our own cities and actually we can benefit from holy sites and choral music. I'm gonna keep moving my units up, get us into position, upgrade another unit to get to knights. All of my military units will push forward because we are about to declare war. I know some of these units are hurt, but we're about to get terracotta army, meaning free promotions. So we'll be fine. I'm gonna use a merchant to buy this tile for me. So many troops. Look at them all. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> now, Rustavi is actually a pretty weak city. Oh, yep. He saw us. It's time. Time to declare war. So Rustavi only has 37 military strength. My man in arms is 45 base. But you can see here we have 54 with all of our bonuses. So I'm going to run my horses in. Bring the man in arms. Get the trebuchets into position. Ooh, actually, I do need to make sure I protect them. They don't have a city shot. So I'm just going to send all of these units in. And we're just going to go. I still need Dipple League. I can now fix these holy sites. But I'm going to chop this tile into the capital to get to 9 population. I really want this harbor. 
We have another general. This general is actually a medieval and renaissance era. So if we actually get to Musketman, we'll be able to use him with all of this. And send him forward immediately. And we have units down here. I'm going to keep building my cheap horse units. And there's more Niter here to settle if I want. The problem with the Gaul is that they are a very strong opponent. Not only do they have strong uh, unique units, even though those are obsolete. The Amburix himself gets two combat strength for every adjacent unit. And all I we do have Harbors unlocked finally. So I'm going to go ahead and place this. This is discounted. It's fantastic. We can get a quick chop here. And this builder is going to keep improving the land. Tech-wise, I want to get some castles. And if I step into the marshland here, I can actually help siege the city. See, they have men at arms. 61 combat strength. It's pretty tough. But we will go ahead and step on in. This is a little bit clogged up, this choke point, just because there's so many city-state units here. We'll get our units pushed forward. Have everyone be affected by a general somewhere. We can actually upgrade to knights now as well. But would I rather Susan Kumasi... There's another barbarian camp over here that I need to clear. I need to get this guy home to be upgraded. And yeah, we have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's a that's a, something I should have dealt with. But this city can actually fall right now. We're going to keep that. Not no no reason to try to liberate. How dare you? Why would I do that? The cities that I conquer they're pretty much going to go straight into commercial hubs. Give us more money. Gold is really good. It means you can do more things per turn. <laughs> and considering I need to do a lot of things. Uh, yeah. There's Terracotta RV. That's massive. We'll chop you to 10 population as well. Place a our entertainment complex that is discounted. But I also need... I need some crossbows here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's take a little bit of a time. Take out Professional Army, plug in uh, Feudal Contract to get crossbows at home. We're going to run Diplomatic League as well, so that I can first time send all three of these envoys to get double the envoys. Yeah, let's just buy some crossbows at home so I can deal with this problem. I need to meet some civs that don't absolutely hate me, but we have free promotions everywhere. At first, I will take a minute to push forward. Oh, that didn't kill. Let's go ahead and get Urban Warfare on our units and Elite Guard level four. That is because of, because we got our early promotions from the Barbarians. We have Elite Guard already. We get a Depredation Horse as well. That's massive. And get Commando on these units. And we're gonna slowly push through them. We need to reform another back line or another line, but it's really hard to do that inside a choke point. We'll keep trading with the city states. That's always massive. Yeah, they're just spawning units. <laughs> uh, spy crossbow here. They're gonna start dealing with this. And I guess we need some ancient walls too. We're gonna boost castles here soon. Let's go for mathematics so we can get our Diplo quarter. That is probably overdue. Kill a horse. And we need to get all of our man at arms out in front here. As they're the, the core of the military. We get shells on a trebuchet as well. That's fantastic. Georgia's gonna re-denounce me. That's fine. <laughs> That's just whatever, Georgia. Kill that unit. Another promotion. Now the Gaul also have these opidums, which gets to these shots if they build walls. Looks like they are building their walls. Because of that, I'm gonna take the emplacement promotion so that they take less damage from the city shots. So I'll just smack their catapults. Get out of here. I need to make sure I keep a general by the trebuchet specifically. I'll get these crossbows out. Go for education. Let's get our horses stepped in here. And we can lead with the man-at-arms. Bring a general up. And step the horses in. Keep a general with the trebuchets. And before these guys build walls, I want to slam this opidum take it over. I don't need a, a walls right there. Oh, we met Greece. Nice to meet you. I don't, we met them because we met Johannesburg. I'm going to double send to Johannesburg as well. And Greece, where are you? They are not going to like me. 
<laughs> I did nothing wrong, okay? If I can get some amenities from him, that'd be fantastic. And I'll sell some stuff to him as well. All right, let's get our men our arms pushed in. And the city's already under siege. The men at arms are very strong. So I'll take the opportunity to make a hit. Choke points like this can make or break a war depending on how you try to go about it. But this road is helping a ton. There's also the Itamanaki here and the Great Bath. And I don't see his units. I know they're somewhere though. Let's kill their scout. Their crossbows hurt. It's time to go for Monarchy. And now that we have Monarchy, I can actually go ahead and run a couple cards. I'll take out Feudal Contract, run Discipline, because apparently we still have to deal with the Barbarians. I can take out Diplomatic League, because I took care of that. I will keep Oligarchic Legacy to keep the plus four combat strength, as well as run Charismatic Leader, keep Envoys coming, and it's time for Natural Philosophy. Always use the City Shots on units, if you can. And I need to take care of this crossbow here. I'm going to go for guilds. I want to get to Demonic Service. Uh, we could also build the Alhambra soon. I need to get back to getting builders. The moment I can get my IZs, my temples, get some faith return coming. This city is about to finish their walls, so I need to take it out. I'll move my generals in. Might as well move the battering ram up. And we can take the city. This is another off-water city, but I do have a bath. This is negative 26 loyalty. Holy cow. That falls in two turns. Hard to hold. So his capital must be right here. And these cities are so high population that this city is just impossible. 300 gold for conquering that city. Speaking of, I need to go for gunpowder to keep the gold return really high. It's, one, it's a one population city. There's nothing in this city that's worth keeping. Nothing. Is an industrial zone? Yeah, no, this city's terrible. <laughs> get out of here. If I don't raise it, I'm just gonna have to conquer it again. And Caesar's ability, you can't get the gold from the same city that you conquer twice. It's something that we tested out in the past. It would be absolutely busted if you could. Colosseum is still available, I need. That's, that's the big moral victory, I need to get that. Now, he does have knights here, so his units are actually stronger than my men-at-arms. So I have to be careful moving forward. But the horses are coming in. They're going to pillage the surrounding lands for us. And of course we're denounced again. Why wouldn't we be? Oh, this is a problem. Step back, shoot. It's a good thing you can shoot straight from this encampment. And we need to build the arena so I can go for Colosseum. Alhambra will go here, but I need another builder. And this city might as well get a commercial hub. Boom, plus three. Nice. Get some more Niter improved. Now I need to get the raid card back in because it's time to start raiding. Oh, I don't know where his city is. Plus four movement on these guys is fantastic. Remember, movement is everything. Like, Cyrus can get plus two movement for doing surprise wars, which gives, makes you realize how good four movement is on any unit. You can get that on any Civ. You just need a general and commando. It's really, it's really important. If I can get a culture pillage, I'm gonna wait to pillage till next turn. I will want to get a couple of hits in though. This guy can attack twice. I don't want to attack twice in this situation, but I don't want my unit to die early. All right, so if I pillage this culture, I'll finish guilds now, which means I can go ahead and plug in raid. Raid is too important. Actually, I will. I will run Discipline for a little bit longer. It's gonna kill my cult per turn for just a bit, but I think it's important. We're gonna run Serfdom, and we're gonna run Gothic Architecture because there's wonders that I want to build. Now, the rest of these pillages are gonna be phenomenal. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, he needs to get healed, so he's gonna go over for this farm. It is a minor defeat to attack this knight, but because my trebuchets have extra movement, they can move and shoot. I don't want to capture the city just yet. There's too many good things to pillage. We can even move the trebuchet in. Governor title. I would love to grab Moksha laying on of hands for a city up this direction. I'm going to grab it for now. And I'm going to save Victor first. We're going to keep getting Niter. Oh, those units are, are hurt. 
Uh, oops. <laughs> is that? Oh, no. Okay. Tamar is back at war with us. And so is Pericles. That's unfortunate. Actually, the worst part is that the city states are war with me. So let's go ahead. Uh, whoops. A couple of pillages. Nationalism is our biggest deal next. I'm going to need all of these techs. We're going to keep on monarchy. And it's time for us to run grants on Pingala to get more, more great people. We can also go ahead and get the Grandmaster Chapel soon. So that's a yeah, at zero health. Even though this guy's really low on health, because the city's at zero health, I should be able to take it. There we go. And my unit survives at one hit point. Get some crossbows in here. Now again, loyalty, really bad here. But I need Victor. I need Victor. I need to hit the next city as soon as possible. This is the problem with not going scout openers, is that you don't know what you're actually running into. And this is a really big problem for me, but hopefully we can use, we have enough units just to push our way through anyways and find where he is. There's another city building medieval walls. It's also at five population while. This city's his capital. I think we go straight for the capital, which is also trying to build medieval walls. Now, even though I told you not to split your army in two different directions before, I might have to, to conquer both these cities at the same time. I have a ton of gold here, so I'm going to grab a siege tower and send it down this way and send my units forward. I can also upgrade my units. If I was smart, I would do that. Let's plug in the upgrade card again, professional army. Because this barbarian problem is about dealt with. Now, even though this unit doesn't have a battering ram, I will hit the city because if a city is not at 100% fortification health, they can't build a second level of walls. So if you hit the medieval walls before they start building it, they can't finish the medieval walls, which is the important part for us. All right, yeah, these horsemen are definitely too weak. They have crossbows. But we can clear this barb camp, get gold there. This is officially dealt with, and the rest of this army is gonna come over here to this one. And we only have three turns in this city. These crossbows are problems. And we'll do the same thing here, but this time we actually have the wall, the battering ram with us. So the city could fall immediately. Holy cow, that's really good. We can actually double hit it to get the walls down faster. That might be an issue. So I'm gonna send a different unit in to hit. And we can actually immediately finish the walls. There's a settler there. This unit needs to stay. The trebuchets will come down here to this city. I need to take care of this crossbow. This is why you need movement. So you can do multiple things in this situation and go in every direction. We're going to pillage here. I need the siege tower by the city to use it. This crossbow is still concerning. I might lose a unit here. Ooh! Oh, that trebuchet got shot hard. The city, very close to falling. I only have two turns left. So I'm going to pillage, and I can still attack. I need to step in here. Kill the crossbow. Get the siege tower forward. Oh, that unit will die. It's three movement to cross a river, so I can actually cross and still... Oh, it's a hill, so that was actually four. Right. Let's go ahead and hit the city. I should be able to take both these cities in time. I'm not getting as much pillaging as I wanted. Sometimes this is all you need. I might sacrifice this unit just to make sure I get the walls down. And we'll get our knight. We got another merchant. Trade routes to city-states give you faith? Oh, with Kumasi? That's fantastic! Right, let's go ahead and chop out Alhambra. Send my archers over here. Because we have a problem. I need to hit twice. I don't have a choice. I need to take that city next turn. Oh! Oh, that hurts. Okay, we lost a bunch of units, but my trebuchets both survived, which is massive. We can eliminate the walls. I can step over here. I can pillage... I can pillage and still attack with this unit, which is fantastic. And then we can actually go ahead, kill the city. That helps a ton. Move Moksha in. We lay on hands. We should be able to heal all of our units here very shortly. 
This city needs to fall as well. So I'm going to pillage up here. Step in. Step in. And then I'm going to step... This uh, archer has three movement again. So he can step onto a hill. Still shoot. Bring our knight in. Attack. And attack. Oh! Five health. Oh, come on. That's so close. That's so close. But that helps the loyalty. Okay, so the loyalty here is almost okay. Almost okay. I'll keep this city. Negative 0.3. Yeah, okay. The city has been saved. And of course, we'll fix our things. We'll be placing bats in all of the cities we conquer. Oh, well, who did we lose? The archer? Oh, uh, that's fine. Losing units? Not ideal. The units we're losing? Kind of okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kill this. I'm going to step on in, bring the trebuchet in. But at this point, I can actually pillage some more. There's a trade route here to kill. And then I can finally take the capital. Boost a couple stuff. University by a mountain, and Machu Picchu. And oh, yes. But there we go. The Gaul's capital has fallen. Our cities now are going to be at positive loyalty. And we can actually keep on pushing. Looks like we're about halfway through what this Pangea looks like. We we're able to fight through what are definitely two of the, the toughest civs to fight between Tamar and her walls. And then the, the Gaul and their uh, ability to get so much stuff. But with that, I think I'm going to end the video here. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Also, follow me on Twitch. And, you know, if, if you want, put the thumbs in the YouTube algorithm to comment. That's because engagement. Later, nerds.